Hi, this is the Cool Geek, and in this 11th video of the VLOOKUP series, we are going to learn how to use a VLOOKUP on two or more columns by combining them. Now, we know that VLOOKUP works best when we have one column with unique values in it or a primary key. In this case, we do not have a primary key, but we do have two columns which can be combined. We can then use VLOOKUP on the combination that we have created. So we'll get started with this. What we, what I'll do is I'm just going to create a column called as product name. So basically I'm going to combine them. I'll just say concatenate product and name, right? So once I do that, I'll just copy the formula down. Now, similarly, what I'm going to do also is put the same column name here and then use the same formula concatenate product and name. Now we have this combination ready. I'm going to copy it to all the five names that I have here. Now, obviously I cannot do VLOOKUP just with these two names directly and get the sales. The, the intention here is to get the sales here, right? That is the reason I've combined these two to get a primary key. Now all, all these are going to be unique in nature. Now then on top of that, I can do VLOOKUP. I can say equal to VLOOKUP, look up this value. Now the, the lookup array or the table array is going to be this particular two columns. Now, the reason I'm putting these two columns is that these two columns are no longer necessary for the VLOOKUP and plus ensure that when you're combining the two columns, it should be present before the columns that you want to look up, right? So that's why I have placed product and name column, the, the primary key that we have created before sales so that we can do VLOOKUP. Okay, I'm going to fix the values then say two as the column index is the second column comma false so once i do that i'm able to then get the values for this right so if you can see it's product two and me here so basically product two and me here i am getting this value and if you if you go ahead and check all the rest of them you'll be getting exactly the same value so this is how you do you know combine two columns and use them in vlookup if you are in a situation where you are, you have two columns which are not unique but can be combined to get a unique ID, combine them and then use VLOOKUP on them. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and do subscribe to my channel for more updates from me.